Nice Sleeping Amy family. Welcome back to the channel. I know I've been doing some Saturday videos. I think I may be making this kind of a permanent thing. Moving the end of the week video to Saturday so I can get some of those products that drop on Friday and I'll have to wait on them, including this product that you guys see, the Mew Ultra Premium Collection. So whenever I order pre-orders, they always get to me right on release day, which is awesome. Like I got this one from Pokemon Center, but I won't be able to open them in time on Friday. So I think Saturdays are gonna be better. We'll try it, we'll see. And uh, I'm sure you guys are waiting to see what I'll get out of here. But of course, if you ordered from Pokemon Center, you also got this card, <laughs> the Squirtle Promo. The Reverse Holo Pokemon Center Stance Squirtle Promo. It's right there in that corner, right here. And we got that Squirtle. It's such a small stamp. I always think it's gonna be a bigger stamp, <laughs> like the Bulbasaur and the Charmander. Actually, let's get those ones out. Let's put all three of them down here and just see them all. And, and here is the Bulbasaur promo. Had to go and grab it real quick. <laughs> but there we are. We have all three of them. I know they're not probably in the right order, but <laughs> that's okay. We got all the stamps there. And each one is a different stamp. We got the GameStop, the 151, and the Pokemon Center one. So, but let's crack into this box. There's a lot of goodies in here. I don't know, a lot of people have opened this. Some people got it early. I remember seeing stuff on several YouTube channels that people got it way too early, but. <laughs> I think release week is perfectly fine to get it that early. Okay, how do we slide? Okay, there we go. I was wondering how this came out. <laughs> All right, and it opens like this. Oh snap, the promos are falling. Yep. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and take this one out. Here is the Mew, the Metal Mew promo. And there is no good way to show you guys this. Sorry about the close up. This is how the contents come. I'm sure you've seen other people show it off. The box is just that huge that it's so difficult. There's a little fold out you can get. And there we go. We got the Mew, the Mew SAR. This is a really, really pretty card to get. Oh man, this one's beautiful. I would say if you're able to pick up these promos, absolutely do it. If you're unable to pick up the box, I know these are getting reprinted, so hopefully the price on them drops. And then we got our Mewtwo. And I think it's just the, yeah. Cause it looks very bent, but I think it's the plastic sliding into it. Hopefully there's not a crease on it. Mm, I don't think so, but I'm, it's definitely one of those I'm not taking out of the plastic <laughs> for sure. So it'll go into the binder in the plastic. But it looks really good to me. It just has that little, I think just the warps just a little bit from being in the plastic, but that's okay. It's, it's definitely a binder card <laughs> for sure. So we have that Mewtwo with that reflective barrier. I'm afraid there's like a crease on it or something. But again, if you're able to find these promos, definitely pick them up. It's, I know that's gonna bug me, I know it's gonna bug you guys. So we will put that Mewtwo right here if we can. Use that bulb sword, maybe prop them up. And right there, they did. Not being able to lay flat is gonna bug me. <laughs> And then we have, of course, that Mew EX Gold. And we will put this in a sleeve, <laughs> for sure. I know I didn't sleeve it up right away. And honestly, I don't see any chipping on the back. The Charizard one and the Pikachu are notorious for the chipping. This actually looks really, really good. I know some places grade the metal cards. This one could be a good one to actually have a good grade. 
for sure. Definitely, there's no chipping. <laughs> okay, and we got our promos right here. And we have our SAR, uh, SIR, Mu EX. All right, into the other things. I know, I'm just kind of gawking at that stuff. And we have this beautiful Mu coin. I'll absolutely be using that in those dice, which are not metal, they're plastic. That's a little disappointing, but they're beautiful because of that nice pink color of Mew. I'll be using that coin for sure as a nice coin. And of course we get the playmat. And I'll show you guys the playmat here. Unrolling it is gonna be a pain. <laughs> and uh, just cause you won't be able to see it all the way on the screen as well. Um, but it'll have the Mew design on it. Let's see. Oh, there's a picture on the back I can show you guys. There we go. There is the playmat. That's what it will look like when you roll it out. But it's a really, really nice playmat. I will probably continue to use the ones that my Mudkip has found for me. I think I have like a Articuno one, as well as the really cool Metagross one I've been using. So I'm gonna keep using those for now. All right, let us get into our packs. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 packs. There's a lot of packs that come in here. <laughs> so not only do you actually get a guaranteed SIR with the Mew and the Mewtwo, the illustration rare, but you also get all these packs as well. All right, we will put that Mewtwo right there. Mostly because I know we're gonna have to do the boop on the Monkey and Eevee at the end. <laughs> and, uh, that Mewtwo will end up being in my world again. All right, let's get into some packs. <laughs> I know, I've shown off all the stuff in the box. Now I just need to get into the packs and see if I can get something good out here. I've seen good pulls. I think that Farfetch I haven't seen. I've seen good pulls. I've seen meh pulls. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen a terribly bad pull, but let's see what we can get. We got that Articuno. The card, I'm actually, I've scanned enough into TC player online to start using a, uh, the Zapdos uh, EX that comes in this set, as well as the Eevee and Jolteon. I was really excited to do that. My mic had suggested the uh, Jolteon and the Zapdos. And those pair so well. I'm trying to build a, refine my Maridon deck with them in order to kind of transition early when Flaffy goes away. Rattata into Electrode. And we got a nice energy. And it may run out of sleeves. <laughs> we will see. <clears throat> All right, next pack. Oh, and my friend Misty suggested actually using Hawlucha in the, in the deck as well because it does that bench damage. Yeah, I gotta watch out for the mana fee. But if I can either get that mana fee out or hopefully they don't have one to protect that bench, I can deal some damage to their bench Pokemon. Ooh, Marowak. But it works really cool. I've, I've won a few with it. It's just kind of funny that the Zapdos is also weak against Electric and is an Electric. but it's a very good card. It just, you just gotta get the setup. That electric generator is very, very good <laughs> at setting it up. And the Jolteon is actually quite powerful with its two attacks and the fact that it's a free retreat. If we pull one, I'll show you guys. Execute into a Vaporeon. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard because Jolteon is a hollow rare, so. But I'll show you guys that card real quick. I'm sure it can be refined a little bit more. <laughs> this is kind of what I chose to do at the moment. Okay, let's see. A few packs in, and we just got the energy. Let's see if we can get full. Rhyhorn, Psyduck, 
Kangaskhan EX. There we go. And a Fire Energy Hollow. What's funny is I actually was thinking about getting this Kangaskhan in a stack sale. Uh, <laughs> it might actually be ongoing right now. <laughs> it's through uh, Cormac Riffs, if you guys remember him being featured on the channel. I'm kind of glad I opened this first. So I'm going to wait and open up the card before I buy any singles. Just because I might do that. Pull what I need. <laughs> okay, next pack. Let's see if we can get something. So let's see. Oops. Giovanni's Charisma. That's another good card. Thought about using that in something. Flareon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mew EX out of the Mew box. Oh my gosh. This is a duplicate for sure. I already pulled this if you guys have watched my shorts. Into a Ninetales. I don't think we've got this Ninetales either. Okay, let's leave out the gold Mew. So this is a very good duplicate. <laughs> Gold Mew, and we're gonna put that right next to the metal one. But yes, I have already pulled the gold Mew. <laughs> I still need the other gold cards, but that one is definitely one I can trade for sure. That is a very, very good one. And I will show you guys all the pulls at the very end, just to see how many we kind of get out of here. But. <laughs> Didn't expect a gold Mew, yeah. that's perfectly fitting, gold Mew out of the Mew uh, UPC. <laughs> and if you notice, the symbol, I'm gonna focus, for the set is actually Mew. So let's see. Oops, there we go. Daisy's Help, Muck, Venomoth, Electabuzz, Tangela! Oh my gosh, they were pulling the ones I almost bought today. <laughs> Into a Jolteon. All right, we're gonna set this Jolteon aside so I can show you guys. We will sleeve up this Tangela. And I think I'm using my last sleeve. So I will have to get more sleeves. <laughs> but don't worry, these will get sleeved up. If your opponent's the one, uh, so the first attack, you can use it on any of your opponent's Pokemon. If you do use it on something that's weak to lightning, like say a Swablu, that's a flying type it will do the double damage still and then the fighting lightning is really good against meteor EXs because it does deal out that extra 90 damage so it's a really good card I actually was fortunate enough to win one with that Jolteon against the Blastoise EX it took it out <laughs> because even with Blastoise's uh, ability it still does with the weakness it still does 330 damage to it, so it's a powerful little card for a one prizer, for sure. <laughs> so I'm very happy uh, to add that one in. Kabutops, Dragonite, into an Amistar. And this Dragonite, I think, is, yeah, it, its ability is just, you have no retreat cost, which is fine, you just have to kind of evolve to it, but I think there's just better abilities. Well, hopefully people see the, how good that Jolteon is. Because I think the Jolteon V and V Max from Evolving Skies is really good. So, <laughs> yeah, I like using it. I'm finally glad I can use some evolutions in the deck. Oops, we got Persian back there, which pairs with that Giovanni card. And Mr. Mine. Okay, we're moving right along. But we've done pretty well so far. We've got the gold, the full art, and uh, Tangela, maybe we'll get some more pulls, and that nine tails, and we got a couple of energies as well, so, all right, we still got a few more packs left, so maybe we got something good in here as well, okay, but for sure, that me was a good one to pull, Rhyhorn, Weedle, into another Jolteon, ooh, and a Grass Energy, and of course, like I said, it ran out of sleeves, so we'll set that over here. <laughs> I was afraid it was gonna run out. <laughs> I do have a lot more sleeves though, so they, like I said, they will get sleeved up. Don't you guys worry. <laughs> I think if it's something really good, I will probably move one of the sleeves over. <laughs> okay, let's get into the next pack. 
I'm hoping we can pull like another SIR. I'm really hoping to pull that Blastoise. Um, let's see, Electrode, Leftovers, Alakazam EX, like that. <laughs> and the Psychic Energy behind it. All right, we'll take the, we'll take one of the energies out of the sleeve for now. And uh, we'll set it to the side and put our Alakazam in there. Alakazam Full Art. So we're actually getting some of these Full Arts, which is good. But let's see. <laughs> I mean, the SIR would be awesome to pull of that card, too. I really do like the Zapdos one. It's very beautiful. <laughs> All right. Well, we're doing pretty well. Let's move that Ninetales up here. I guess you guys can't really see them all. Okay, let's see. Put that back up. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, we got Pidgey, Metapod, Protective Goggles. Okay, that's good to know. Basic Pokemon this card, Tash has no weakness. Might be good to put on something, <laughs> like one of the Zapdos. Wiggly Tough EX into a water energy. All right, the regular EXs I'll put over here too. <laughs> Wiggly Tough, I don't think I have pulled as well. Uh, the ability on it is if it has a special energy attached, it gets 100 HP. So that makes it 350. Makes it pretty tough. <laughs> Let's see, the friend tackle. If you played a supporter card from your hand during this turn, this tag is 90 more damage. I mean, it's an okay card. You'd have to play that supporter. And I think if you added like a luminous energy, it'd be better. I know if you want to add a double colorless energy, to make it faster, that'd be good, but you're taking off some damage too. We have Radicate, Lapras, Almanite into a Gengar. But we're reading through a lot of these cards. They're all pretty powerful. And we're gonna set this stack of cards to the side. We got three left. <laughs> Still hoping for a special illustration right in this box but I'm not upset at all. We got the Kangaskhan, the Alakazam. Some of these cards are kind of pricey. Even the Tangela thing is kind of pricey right now. I'm hoping they kind of drop so I can grab some of the singles. But the Mew, <laughs> that was a good one. All right, Nita Rhino, Kakuna, Articuno, do a Weezing. Okay. But I've seen people pull one, sometimes two. It's just the luck. <laughs> totally the luck you can get. All right. We got Electabuzz, Rhyhorn, Tangela, Coughing. Goodness. I'm trying not to show the reverses in case we somehow get one of those god packs. Marowak, Ekans, into a start. And another fire energy. We are getting a lot of those hollow energies. I hope I have every single one of them by now. I have quite a few of them. All right, we are into our last pack. And we are actually gonna throw that energy on the front this time. So if it's a hollow, we have to see it in. Let's boop, eating in my kip. It is not a hollow, but it's okay. We got shoulder, anti-helix fossil, slow hope, magmar, Golduck, Pinsir. I just want to pull the one. Bill's Transfer, Erica's Invitation, Starmie, into a Mewtwo. Kind of fitting. <laughs> we get a Mewtwo out of the box that has the Mewtwo in it, so it's very fitting. But no last pack magic. We didn't do too bad, though. <laughs> I'd say we did okay. Uh, we got all these pulls for me. I will pick all of them up. And then we got an energy here. We have the Wiggly Tough. We got four. Yes, we got four Hollow Energies. The Wiggly Tough EX, the Ninetales EX, Kangaskhan Full Art, Alakazam Full Art, the Tangle Illustration Rare, and the Gold Mew. Figured we would pull more Illustration Rares. Kind of a little disappointed we didn't, but can't be too disappointed. 
I only got the this Mew and that Mew too as well, so. <laughs> but decent folds, not that bad. Hopefully your you guys will open up your new PCs and they'll be pretty good. <laughs> Let me know your polls down below and if you guys like this video, enjoy the video, <laughs> hit that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, so hit that subscribe button too. <laughs> I'm going to be picking out that Zapdos and Alakazam box as well as some mini tins. And uh, you guys will have to stay tuned for that on Wednesday because we got Mail Bank Monday. I got some cards for that too. <laughs> but again, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, take care, sleep well, and good night.